In this tutorial, you will learn how to add HTML and custom coding into your WordPress website. So we're going to go to our website and show you where we left off on our last tutorial. Keep in mind that I haven't changed anything on this website since the last tutorial, and we'll have a complete website within about two more tutorials. Okay, so we have a nice banner here, but as you see, we have the word Venice Beach three times on here. That's pretty good for search engine optimization, but I'm not sure if I want to keep that for the final. Also, the search bar is here, the pages are here, categories, archives, and meta. And then you can leave a reply down here. I don't care too much for the reply box, and I want to get rid of this meta here. So this tutorial will teach you how to do that. Let's go ahead and log back into our WordPress. Once you're logged in, we're going to click on Appearance and go to the Editor. In the Editor, these are the files that make up the template over here on the right-hand side. These aren't all of the files, but they're the main ones that the blog can pull in to let you edit in this browser. So we're going to start out by editing the sidebar. And I'll open up another page so you can see everything at the same time that you're editing it. Now the sidebar is all the information on the right hand side of the page. All of this information is included in the sidebar and you can see that this is consistent. When I click on restate details it still has the same information that you saw on the main page. It still has the same information here. Okay so that's what we're going to edit. Okay, anytime you see these brackets, that's a caret, exclamation mark, dash, dash. That means it's a comment just for your eyes. And the end of that comment is down here with the other bracket with two dashes. So if I wanted to write something that was hidden, I would put caret, exclamation mark, dash, dash, Matt Rocks. And this has no effect at all on the website. It's more for the programmer's eyes. So you're probably wondering, what's the benefit of this? This is nice because right now the calendar isn't being shown. If I want to show a calendar, over here you see no calendar at all on that right-hand side. If I want to show the calendar, I just have to delete this, delete this, and update the file. After finished updating that, we go back to our race day details, we refresh the page, and you now see a calendar on the right hand side. It's that simple with, with this particular theme. Now others aren't that simple. For example, I honestly don't want a calendar in there, so let's just delete it out completely. And I never use the calendar, because this isn't a blog, this is an actual website. Now we also have archives on here. The meta, this is where you can log in. And I don't like the meta showing up there. I'd rather just type in up here at the top. I'd rather just type in WP admin. And I'll memorize that. I don't need that to be on my main website. So let's take out all this metadata too. And this is all the metadata that I'm going to delete. If you see, anytime you have a caret slash the command caret. That means that's the end of the command. This up here means it's the start of the command. There's no slash. So those two are connected to each other. So I know if I delete everything in the middle, that would delete that entire command. And it's always a good idea to have another copy of this. So I'll undo that just in case I'm wrong. I'll copy everything and I will open up Notepad and paste it all in here. Now I'll go back to my browser. Now whenever I delete that, I have a little peace of mind knowing that if I mess up, I at least have that notepad that I can drag everything back out of. Uh, here's our meta. Okay, so we take our meta out and delete that. Okay, and now whenever I update the file, 
you'll see back on this page the information down here which says Meta will no longer exist. So we refresh and now you see no more Meta there. And this really cleans up your code and makes it look nicer if you take out all the stuff you don't use. The search form, I'll go ahead and leave that in there. Sometimes search is nice for clients to use. Then all the pages that are going to show up, I like to have that in there. Again, since this isn't a blog, we don't need an archive. So let's take out the archive. And here's the link list. We already deleted that in the last tutorial, but we aren't going to be using it, so let's take it out as well. And then that's it. We'll update our page. We will refresh here to make sure it looks like what we want it to. And now it's getting a lot closer to what we want. I still see the entries RSS up here. I want to change that. And I want to change categories down here. I actually don't want categories in there at all. And now looking back through it, I see the word categories here. Let's go ahead and take that out as well. Okay, in addition to that, you can also change what actually shows up on the page. I like having my pages in here. I don't like it being called pages though. I want this word to be information. So let's go back here. When you go here, you'll find the word pages oh, right there. Now these brackets mean that that's a heading. It means heading to and stop heading to. So this is listing the pages with a heading of the word pages. So let's just change the heading to information. Then you can update the file and see results. And here we have information now. I like that a lot better. It's starting to look less and less like a blog. Now let's add some more custom information to that sidebar. For all of our races, let me bring up another race. For all of our races, you'll see in the sidebar, we have a place to register on active.com, and also a place to join us on Facebook. I'm going to use the exact same link that we have here over on our page. Also, you'll see we have our other races down here with nice banners for each. So you have a few different ways that you can do this. You can right click on this website, go to view source, and you'll see all the source files. And I'm just going to do a search. I'm going to, I'm going to press control F and look for Facebook. Okay, now that I found the Facebook link, you see right above it the active.com link. So let's click on that active.com link all the way down to the end of the Facebook link. And that looks like it's right here. Your links always end in this A command. So we go to the beginning of the active link to the end of the Facebook link and we copy that. And now let's go back over to our Venice Beach race. And if let's look at the website. I want that to show up right underneath the entries. So we find the entries, which you see right here. And right below that, we're going to paste in our code. And let's update to see what that looks like. We come over here, we refresh the page, and now we have that link with the Facebook link. All right, but you see it goes off the end of the page and we don't want that. So I'm gonna make this active registration button a little smaller. And to do that, we go back into the code. I find the register now button. And I know that I have another button that doesn't have the active part on it. So I'm just gonna delete that out and update the file. All right, now we have a nice register now button with join us on Facebook. I want some space in between these two, so let's go back over there. And right underneath, let's add in the code BR, BR. Each one adds a space break in. It's the same as if you're in a Word document and you press enter, you press enter. But we can't press enter here, it doesn't recognize that, so we have to give it this command. And update the file. Now in addition to that you see register you see register for SM boardwalk. We don't want that to show up. Let's change that to register for Finnis Beach Sunset Run. 
and also the link that it takes us to on active.com that's not accurate you see the event ID here goes to the Santa Monica race we need to change that so let's open up active.com and let's do a search for the Venice Beach run and here it is Venice Beach sunset run on June 6th now there's a few different ways that you can do this up here on the register now button you can right click on it and choose copy shortcut that gives you an entire string and we'll go back over to the Venice page and this entire string in here is what we're going to want to replace but you'll notice let me leave this string in here and show you what exactly I copied I'm going to paste it that's what I copied so you can see this is exactly the same as what's already there the only difference is the last ID this right here the last ID is right there so in essence all we need is that ID number and we can replace it in here and that's a different race so let's just do that let's cut that out replace it there and now it's going to register people on the correct race definitely a bad idea to make them register on the wrong race and we update our file okay we have a register now button and join us on Facebook and you're going to want to click on these links to make sure that they actually go to the right direction also when we highlight it it tells you underneath what actually we wrote in the alt text right here alt anything you write in here will show up whenever you hover over the button okay and when we were cleaning up stuff we didn't clean up the RSS feed the entries RSS this is really great for blogs this website isn't used so much for a blog so we're going to take that out that is right here and we just go ahead and take that out completely now that we took it out we don't really need those breaks that we had before so let's take those out too now let's update our file and I want the first thing that people see is that registration button and to join us on Facebook so let's refresh that nice it'd be nice if both of those were centered so let's go back and you'll see we have the word center here and it's censoring the entire Facebook command now you always want to close up your command when you're done with it so let's take that centered command and cut it out and put it up above the active registration but then we want to end it after the Facebook registration and that's going to center both and then end the command and we update our file okay and that concludes the tutorial on how to customize and edit your sidebar